A stretch of Volano Beach that the feds have deemed critically eroded is about to get some help, GD. A beach restoration project is getting started that will rebuild the coastline along a three mile stretch of St. John's County. Jessica Clark is on your side tonight showing us what's happening now and how the county says this project will help protect a key evacuation route during hurricane season. So we've been coming up here for 40, 50 years, and my dad was born and raised in this whole area. Brian Solano has seen the coastline of Volano Beach change. I believe on a consistent basis the water is higher and there's less beach. The U.S. Army Corps of Engineers deems Volano Beach critically eroded. Work is starting on a three-mile beach restoration project from the Serenata Beach Club south close to the Nice Beachfront Park. Why the stretch of beach and not others in St. John's County? According to the county, there's enough beach parking making it accessible to the public and it will protect homes and State Road A1A, a necessary evacuation route for the island. During Hurricane Dorian, waves washed over the road at this spot. So basically, this takes back the damage from Matthew and Irma. This initial beach restoration project is expected to cost $18 million, but in the big picture, according to the Army Corps of Engineers, it could save money when it comes to A1A. They're estimating that with the project in place, it could save the DOT an average of $200,000 a year in repairs that would otherwise have to be done. According to the county's coastal manager, most of the 140 homeowners along the project area have agreed to extra taxes and to creating easements on their land. So that the Army Corps can come back and fix it at any time in the future without having to ask permission again. As for Solano, he's waiting to see how effective the project will be, especially at securing the only road back to the mainland. Um, yeah, it needs to be protected. In Volano Beach, Jessica Clark, First Coast News on your side.